Hey, it's Diego with Aim Sheet Develop. Today I'm talking about this Sunny Fruit Juice Drink 35mm film camera. As soon as I saw it, I pretty much knew I had to have it. It's such a novelty, you don't see things like this anymore. It has ingredients, a fake branding, a fake barcode. When you push down on the straw, you can see me fumble it up a little bit here. No, it's okay. When you push down on the straw, it actually opens up the lens to take a picture. It doesn't actually push the shutter or the back piece of it to actually expose the film. So when the film goes past those little sprocket holes, it loads it up. And then when you push the plunger down, it actually takes the picture. Pretty much all the features is the little viewfinder. Um, I don't know how good it is. We're going to see in the video. And that's pretty much it. It has a film rewind lever on the back part and a thing to keep the little sprocket to move backwards for the film rewind. That's pretty much it. It's a very straightforward camera. I was looking at some of the other works available online on like Lomography's page and I was seeing some of the results and I thought it was pretty cool that I'd give it a go. You can see me messing around like it's a juice box. I did get told it looked kind of like a vape or a pack of cigarettes so I thought that was pretty funny. Off the bat this first set of photos is going to be a lot of car related stuff. It's a gas station and a lot of car stuff. With the first photo I was actually pretty surprised when I started downloading the roll because they all looked in a similar manner of that. So pretty much off the bat, I was looking at it and um, when I was downloading the album, it looked like one of those old Instagram pages that you would see with the same theme or the same overlays or even someone who just discovered filters and pretty much went wild and turning it all the way up to 100%. So um, this is my guess on why maybe it does this. It does have a pressure plate that's just a piece of plastic. Um, you can see that some of the lines kind of coincide with the images. So that's my best guess on why. If you know or have a guess down below, let me know. But um, that's pretty much it. So getting right back into the video. So pretty much as I was getting back into it, you can see that there's a lot of car themed photos that are coming up. There's something charming about gas stations in general. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just looking back and seeing the price of gas, as you can see in the video on the top right there. If you look back at old images and it was under a dollar, people still flip out about it. So or even because charging stations might be a thing and take over. So it could be a relic of the past, something we can look back on and reminisce on. This next image coming up is probably my favorite image of the whole roll. I'd never actually taken images like this of a moving car on film. So since it was pretty much one, just push the little plunger down or the straw down and take the image, this could have been anything. I do like the lines, it does add motion, including the wheels, so it just shows, you know, power, force. I think we're going about the speed limit, give or take, but um, the wheels, the brakes, you can see all that. I do like that the composition is more in focus on the right, or at least not as much washed or overexposed from the left, or even on the right side, it just kind of cuts off, as if it's time traveling. You're just going really ridiculously fast. There's something really cool about this shot. I really like it, the composition, pretty much everything about it. So, really cool. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe because a lot of these videos coincide. This is from my last Wigwagram video. You can see on the Instax, there's actually a police officer that came and joined us. Um, not so much just to join, just to check up, make sure everything was fine. Those burnout marks that are there aren't ours. Um, they were already there. But there were some other people who had come up. The spot that's here is really prevalent for people just meeting up and just having little car meetups or just hanging out in general. When these cars started pulling up, I thought I was in trouble, like one of those scenes in Fast and the Furious. I'm switching it up and slowing it down, definitely. We're out here in the country. I wanted to take some pictures of the trees. I also wanted to show some landscapes and portraits. I didn't get too many portraits on this roll. A um, little bit more of landscapes but I am happy with the results so this image although I did get a little bit closer when I actually took the image really showed that the viewfinder had some pretty bad parallax what you get in the viewfinder isn't actually what you get in the image you have much more space this next photo is a clear example I make to try to sh make sure that the things were nice and squared up in the images and there was a lot of frame left this is a really nice picture but there was definitely a lot of frame left over About halfway through the video, I realized there's actually an on off. So if you turn it to the right, it turns it off so you can't push down. And if you turn it to the left, obviously it's on. Um, just a little detail you find over time. I really overshot that one. 
since this camera doesn't have a flash, I wanted to know how well it would do in internal settings like at a target. I am using Fujifilm Extra Superior 400. I really like that film stock because of its accessibility. You can see that there is some overexposure obviously on the right. <laughs> you can see it's a clear line there. But I do like it. I like how seasonal this is with the Christmas tree and just the tint too. Um, I actually brought it in to see if the price would scan. Obviously it did not scan. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. Hopefully something, but obviously it's nothing. I'm just kidding. So I'm going to start breaking down some of the things I liked about this camera and some of the things that I did not like about this camera. Obviously the fun thing about it is just the charm of the branding and the fun factor. It's much more inviting to get your picture taken by a little juice camera that's on film than it is to get with a series DSLR. So much less intimidating than any other film camera if it was like a metal body or anything other like that. Another thing is unpredictability. You obviously don't know what you're going to get with these things. I really like the colors on this so you get some gradients that obviously you can't achieve. It really takes something different to achieve these colors and gradients. The only dislikes I can think of is maybe the viewfinder. You don't know exactly where you're shooting at sometimes or just in general um, sometimes the images come out a bit too washed. Other than that, I had a great time with this camera. I really like the fun factor cameras or just things people don't really talk about. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I have tons of videos talking about cameras just like this. And if you haven't already checked out my Instagram, aim shoot developed by the same name. I talk about cameras, mostly instant cameras or applications that mimic film cameras. So check those out. Links will be down on everything. And yep, that's pretty much it. Keep shooting film. Take care. Peace.